Take it about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down to him at their own 19 yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their offense in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and ten at the 19-yard line. Now on second down, this is good. He's got a first down past the 30. And he finally goes out of bounds across the opposite 40. A big run there by Gurley. 45 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game. And for a second, that would look like it might be another. I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level. Because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own. But oftentimes, you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. He's going to be met behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. And a penalty flag is going to come out on top of it. On second down, it's McSorley. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Here's McSorley now, third and long. Flushed out right. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's got this down almost to the track before he's dropped. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. Josh Jacobs, his second touchdown on the season, and the Raiders have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get him for the touchdown. I guess I might say that the guys right. on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own baby. That allowed the runner to make some big moves towards the end zone. Welcome to the pod. I'm gonna be one of the That's how we move the pod. Uh, oh, yeah, the Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown to last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start to the pod, you start thinking to yourself, you're going to be able to from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. First down, Diaz at first and 10 at the 38. Hey, welcome to the pod. Herbert. That's complete to his tight end, Ferkson. Oh, that's all good. I like that. 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 Here's Jones. Okay, we're gonna wrap up. Let's get in that Simmons. We're gonna wrap it up, Simmons. Let's get in that Simmons. Six four, baby. Going to go for a touchdown to a lot of your calls. Or setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to stop the inside run and run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Baby, welcome to the party. Baby, welcome to the party. Baby, welcome to the party. Ah, oh, we gotta get him. That's good play, boy. That's good play. That's a good play.
Play action. It's Herbert. Yeah. It's Herbert. Give me that. The guy is on him. Bailey. I know you go drip. Just take it down. Maybe welcome to the party. Maybe welcome to the party. I don't have money to see you see it. Just how we move a retarded. Baby, welcome to the party. Where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Baby, welcome to the party. Come on, girl. Let's get this shit moving, man. Let's get this shit moving, girl. Yo. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space yeah. to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the back area. I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want to. And they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Try to run for it with Jacobs. That's that boy, Jacobs. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I'm guaranteeing it. They started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up. Hey, Just a yard on the pickup there, and they'll bring up a second and no. This job is pretty clear. Almost so somebody like say that, no, say that name. They got the donation to the side. Like five straight runs. Great leverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll lose 
Bears yards. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. That's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. They did do a nice job during that first of the loss on that play. Yeah, they're cracking on the nose. Nah, I'm going to go first action. Second and eight. Second and eight. Three of them to the right side, and second and seven. He was like trying to, like, he was smashing her car, like, he was like, break her. Off of play real action, real it's McSorley. That's not even her car, that's her grandma car. Steps away to his left. And, yeah, it's like, I'm just guessing, 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 like, where are you? And the whole time she was down the street, but she was in a circle while I couldn't see her. Jameson Crowder. So when she when he left, she came to my house. And this cool I told her to park her car on the grass so they can get shit up to your car. And I told her to come in my house. Don't want to run a seventy. Oh, he came back. He came back, blue This time I came out there. And you know he got a gun on him. And you know he can hold on to it. He talking about, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need you to tell her to come outside. I said, bro, she's not here. I said, bro, carry that bullshit, whatever you got going on, get it off my property. Like I told you, she's not here. I told her to park her car. It's good. It is now 21 to 7. Yeah, they got the ball. They got the ball. And he told us, well, you got six seconds in your mind. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. Sets to pass. Yeah. He's gonna find his running back. Yeah. 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 Ye
so many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They run. It's good. And he stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. You're going to run against this unit, especially down here. Just beware. I mean, they're the top rushing defense in the league. Yeah, and then they go ahead and double down with the whole thing because you think, okay, let's throw the ball. Oh, yeah, that's right. They defend the pass pretty well, too. Very difficult task right now. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I thought when Josh Jacobs was coming out of the University of Alabama, he was an absolute perfect fit for John Gruden's offense with the Raiders. And it turned out, in this case, he was absolutely right. Led the NFL rookies in rushing a year ago.